Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Lutter, the founder and executive director of the Center for Innovative Governance Research. We at the center believe that a zone-based approach to reforms can improve governance and create the conditions for human flourishing. When I was in graduate school, I lived in Honduras for six months. It was an eye-opening experience. Honduras was one of the poorest countries in the Americas, one of the most violent countries in the world, yet I realized that most of the population had smartphones. That made me think. The U.S. has had good governance for hundreds of years, yet some of our closest neighbors, like Honduras, remain poorly governed. Yet when we invent new technology, like smartphones, it quickly spreads throughout the developing world. As Gordon Brown famously quipped, in establishing rule of law, the first 500 years are the hardest. This is because governance reforms are typically only considered on the national level. By focusing on specific territories within which the reform takes place, it's possible to achieve better improvements in governance than politics would otherwise allow. Shenzhen shows this power. In 1980, it was a fishing village of 30,000 people. China designated it one of their first special economic zones. The first year of its existence, it attracted over 50% of all foreign direct investment. Now it's a booming metropolis. It has a population of over 16 million people and Wired Magazine designated it the Silicon Valley of hardware. The success of Shenzhen created a cascading effect throughout the rest of China. Additional special economic zones were created and coastal cities were granted autonomy. The result was the greatest humanitarian miracle in the post-war era, with the World Bank estimating that 800 million people were raised out of poverty. The Center for Innovative Governance Research believes that this model of zone-based reforms can improve governance worldwide. Charter cities can alleviate poverty in low-income countries. Refugee camps can be turned into refugee cities for special economic zones, and technology zones can create centers for technological innovation and acceleration. The UN estimates that there will be an additional 2.5 billion urban residents by 2050. These new residents will need to be accommodated, creating the opportunity for governance reforms. New cities will have to be built and old cities expanded. Charter cities with rule of law, property rights, and economic freedom can attract investment, create jobs, and lead to economic development for those who need it most. Innovative governance can also help alleviate the refugee crisis. Most countries do not give refugees the legal right to work, and refugee camps often last for more than a generation, leaving the refugees entirely dependent on handouts. By creating a special economic zone in the refugee camp, where refugees have the legal right to work as well as own property, it's possible to turn the refugee camp into a thriving city while still respecting the politics of the host country. Innovative governance can even help accelerate technological innovation, which has slowed in part due to an outdated regulatory system. For example, Larry Page's flying car startup, Kitty Hawk, is currently testing in New Zealand because of a more welcoming regulatory environment. A zone with permissionless innovation, which allows the testing and development of new technologies, can ensure their safety before being rolled out to the wider population. Good governance is the most important determinant of human flourishing. The Center for Innovative Governance Research develops and promotes original research to help create a world within which all of humanity can benefit from good governance.